fox is the largest of the true foxes and one of the most widely distributed members of the order Carnivora, being present across the entire northern hemisphere including most of North America, Europe and Asia plus parts of the least concerned by the IUCN. Its range has increased alongside human expansion, having been introduced to Australia, where it is considered harmful to native mammals and bird populations. Due to its presence in Australia, it is included on the list of the world's 100 worst invasive species. The red fox originated from smaller sized ancestors from Eurasia during the middle Via Frankian period, and colonized North America shortly after the Wisconsin glaciation. Among the true foxes, the red fox represents a more progressive form in the direction of carnivory. Apart from its large size, the red fox is distinguished from other fox species by its ability to adapt quickly to new environments. Despite its name, the species often produces individuals with other colorings, including leucistic and melanistic individuals. 45 subspecies are currently recognized, which are divided into two categories, the large northern foxes, and the small, basal southern foxes of Asia and North Africa. Red foxes are usually together in pairs or small groups consisting of families, such as a mated pair and their young, or a male with several females having kinship ties. The young of the mated pair remain with their parents to assist in caring for new kits. The species primarily feeds on small rodents, though it may also target rabbits, game birds, reptiles, invertebrates and young ungulates. Fruit and vegetable matter is also eaten sometimes. Although the red fox tends to kill smaller predators, including other fox species, it is vulnerable to attack from larger predators, such as wolves, coyotes, golden jackals and medium and large-sized felines. The species has a long history of association with humans, having been extensively hunted as a pest and fur bearer for many centuries, as well as being represented in human folklore and mythology. Because of its widespread distribution and large population, the red fox is one of the most important fur bearing animals harvested for the fur trade. Too small to pose a threat to humans, it has extensively benefited from the presence of human habitation, and has successfully colonized many suburban and urban areas. Domestication of the red fox is also underway in Russia, and has resulted in the domesticated red fox. Description The red fox has an elongated body and relatively short limbs. The tail, which is longer than half the body length, is fluffy and reaches the ground when in a standing position. Their pupils are oval and vertically oriented. Nictitating membranes are present, but move only when the eyes are closed. The forepaws have five digits, while the hind feet have only four and lack dewclaws. They are very agile, being capable of jumping over two-meter high fences, and swim well. Their skulls are fairly narrow and elongated, with small brain cases. Their canine teeth are relatively long. Sexual dimorphism of the skull is more pronounced than in Corsac foxes, with female red foxes tending to have smaller skulls than males, with wider nasal regions and hard palates, as well as having larger canines. Their skulls are distinguished from those of dogs by their narrower muzzles, less crowded premolars, more slender canine teeth, and concave rather than convex profiles. Red foxes are the largest species of the genus Vulpes. However, relative to dimensions, red foxes are much lighter than similarly sized dogs of the genus Canis. Their limb bones, for example, weigh 30% less per unit area of bone than expected for similarly sized dogs. They display significant individual, sexual, age and geographical variation in size. On average, adults measure 35 to 50 cm high at the shoulder and 45 to 90 cm in body length with tails measuring 30 to 55.5 cm. The ears measure 7.7 .7 to 12.5 cm and the hind feet 12 to 18.5 cm. Weights range from 2.2 to 14 kilograms, with vixens typically weighing 15 to 20 percent less than males. Adult red foxes have skulls measuring 129 to 167 millimeters, while those of vixens measure 128 to 159 millimeters. The forefoot print measures 60 millimeters in length and 45 millimeters in width, while the hind footprint measures 55 millimeters long and 38 millimeters wide. They trot at a speed of 6 to 13 km per hour, and have a maximum running speed of 50 km per hour. They have a stride of 25 to 35 cm when walking at a normal pace. North American red foxes are generally lightly built, with comparatively long bodies for their mass and have a high degree of sexual dimorphism. Fur The winter fur is dense, soft, silky and relatively long. 
For the northern foxes, the fur is very long, dense and fluffy, but is shorter, sparser and coarser in southern forms. Among northern foxes, the North American varieties generally have the silkiest guard hairs, while most Eurasian red foxes have coarser fur. The fur in thermal windows areas such as the head and the lower legs is kept dense and short all year round, while fur in other areas changes with the seasons. The foxes actively control the peripheral vasodilation and peripheral vasoconstriction in these areas to regulate heat loss. There are three main color morphs, red, silver, black and cross. In the typical red morph, their coats are generally bright reddish rusty with yellowish tints. A stripe of weak, diffuse patterns of many brown reddish chestnut hairs occurs along the spine. Two additional stripes pass down the shoulder blades, which, together with the spinal stripe, form a cross. The lower back is often a mottled silvery color. The flanks are lighter colored than the back, while the chin, lower lips, throat and front of the chest are white. The remaining lower surface of the body is dark, brown or reddish. During lactation, the belly fur of vixens may turn brick red. The upper parts of the limbs are rusty reddish, while the paws are black. The frontal part of the face and upper neck is bright brownish rusty red, while the upper lips are white. The backs of the ears are black or brownish reddish, while the inner surface is whitish. The top of the tail is brownish reddish, but lighter in color than the back and flanks. The underside of the tail is pale gray with a straw-colored tint. A black spot, the location of the supracaudal gland, is usually present at the base of the tail. The tip of the tail is white. Senses. Red foxes have binocular vision, but their sight reacts mainly to movement. Their auditory perception is acute, being able to hear black grouse changing roosts at 600 paces, the flight of crows at 0.25 to 0.5 kilometers and the squeaking of mice at about 100 meters. They are capable of locating sounds to within 1 degree at 700 to 3000 hertz, though less accurately at higher frequencies. Their sense of smell is good, but weaker than that of specialized dogs. Thanks for watching.